Hello pilots, uh, here we are at the Angelo RC Airfield here in San Angelo, Texas on this windy day. See the sock is uh, standing up. Uh, we're going to uh, be doing some testing today on some receivers. I have them all here mounted to this board and kind of set up for you trying to keep it a little simpler. What we have are four receivers. The first one is the AR-710 uh, DSM-2 full range by from Horizon Hobby $75. The second receiver we have is an AR-6200. AR this is actually a fake receiver with satellite. If you notice both of these have satellites. Um, DSM-2 full range is called from AliExpress for $9.90. The third receiver is the Lemon receiver that you get from Lemon RX. It is a, a diversity full range receiver uh, for $12.95 plus shipping. It usually costs you about $17 once you've had shipping, so it's best to get more than one. And, and the last one is a very new receiver that we uh, picked up. Uh, Bubba picked up from Banggood. Diversity, it is a full range DSM-2 from Banggood for $4.99. Again, we have them all bound to this DX6i. And once we, when the radio is too close, they can tend to kind of fall out of a reception, I guess. And I don't know whether I'm going to have actually a problem with them because I have the receivers so close together. But we will see what happens. <laughs> Uh, Bubba will be going, he'd be in his truck over there and he's going to drive out of the driveway. He's going to go all the way up the road, turn left, and then he's going to drive to the top of that hill way over there. And we'll be in uh, where well, you see that car coming down. We'll be in radio reception with each other and we'll kind of see how this whole thing turns out. And here we go. Okay, we're getting started. Here's Bubba, he's rolling out. He's on the controls. And we'll see how each one fares. So we know that we're going to lose some reception. Of course, as he goes up the road. Blink in and out. The Lemon RC has already had a hiccup. Because the light is blinking. You can see that. There he is at the end of the driveway. And he's turning left. Notice here the lemon seems to be having the worst of the blinking light issue. Cut out right there a little bit. I'm gonna move to the side a little bit. We just lost the AR-60 in its back. We're just going to watch this and see how it goes. Bubba's going up the hill now. There he is. Quite a ways away. They are all still working. The lemon's the only one that actually lost. Well, it's blinking. I just say it's blinking. You can see the little blinking light there. Bubba's at the top of the hill. Okay, I'm in the parking lot. Top. Now Bubba's 
Oop, lost it. He's all the way up there. There's his truck. He'll be getting out of his truck and walking over to where we can see him. We'll just, I just keep the uh, camera on the receiver that we put through this. Where you at now? I'm still parked in the parking lot. Do you want me to keep going? Yeah, keep going. Okay. So far out of line of sight, and that's really the issue, is that he went up to the top of the hill and he made a right, and so he's been going down in front of those houses right there at the top of the hill. And so as he comes back around, we'll see which one gains reception first. Which I'm kind of betting on the AR-10, and yes it is. There's your $75 hard at work. Oh, the lemon came back first. I'm a little surprised there. The red con came back. And then we got the fake $6,200. Coming down the hill now. to keep my stuff out of the line with the, uh, the radio. Do that is the right turn. Coming back on to uh, Hard Road. We can say the AR-7010 is definitely setting the standard, so the far left servo will probably be the one that's that's on the point. Amendment is just stop talking. And there's Bubba right there at the end of the driveway. And here he is pulling back up right into the parking area. So there's our test. Um, we noticed the receivers that are actually blinking. Of course, we knew that all they all lost reception. We did get out of line of sight. We got the AR-7010. Uh, it's blinking, just indicating that there was a, a break in the uh, communication. The uh, Lemon RC showing that early on there was a break, and then finally the Redcon is showing a break. The fake AR-6200 is not showing that there was a break in communication at all. 
Uh, so um, there it is. Can't say there's anything conclusive other than that the AR7010, which is the Horizon Hobby original product, is definitely uh, tops. Paid a lot more money for it, but even at that, you could say that even the $5 Redcon full range, which they do sell actually a, another receiver, and I think they sell one with the satellite uh, also for a little bit more, uh, did not do bad at all for a $5 receiver. And that's about it. Y'all have a good day.